All right, so we're under this bridge. I wanted to make a cinematic video of this uh, fucking bike, but um, the lighting is, it's, the lighting's terrible. There's just too much, like this is overexposed. This is shady. Uh, yeah, lighting sucks. So I think I'm gonna go, uh, uh, I didn't wanna go to Rustin, but I think I'm gonna have to go to Rustin because they have that uh, garage and it's underground. And the uh, light will be more even over there. So let's get going so we can get on with this video, which is why I sold my R1M to get a 1299S. Let's go. Let us get on to the topic of today's video. Why I sold the R1M to buy a 1299S. First things first, let's go over the similarities of the 1299 compared to the R1M. Both have electronic suspension. Both are pushing 200 brakes. Both are leader bikes in, in the same year. They were both top of their class. They're very similar in terms of overall package. Now the, the differences are obvious. The, the engine, this one's an L-twin, two big ass cylinders. The other one's a cross plane, crankshaft, four cylinder inline four. Both are pretty lightweight bikes, both are pretty powerful, and both, they just really put a smile on my face. Honestly, they, they just weren't that different. Now, I know looks wise, they're, they're very different. A lot of these, uh, these super bikes, these, these, the top of the line manufacturers, they're all pretty, I'm pretty close to each other to be honest. So why I chose to sell my R1M, mainly it was um, it was just not a comfortable motorcycle for me. It was the, the bike was very um, just just from my my size. I, I'm a short dude. It was very hard to maneuver uh, in the streets when I was out street riding. And you know I, for the channel, I, I wanted to do a lot more street riding, and I felt like I couldn't be comfortable in the streets on the R1M. Whereas this, I'm, I'm very comfortable. Uh, I can tippy toe both sides. The R1M, I had to, I had to take a butt cheek off, and I could only tippy toe one side. That's how, that's how tall it was. Plus, on top of it, I had the tank shroud that pushed me back, farther back in the seat, and higher up. The bike was just not built for me. Um, my body type 
it, just, it was very uncomfortable and it was very difficult to ride fast at the track. Uh, although I did ride it pretty quick. Um, but again, it just, I think that at the end of the day, it's it just whatever you're comfortable with. And then when I was researching bikes, um, I got this for a really good deal, so I, I couldn't pass it up. Now, <clears throat> I really wanted electronic suspension. That, that was something I couldn't, I just couldn't live without it at that point because I, I had experienced it on the R1M. So I knew on my next bike I wanted electronic suspension. It's just one of those things. Some people like it, some people don't. I was one of those people that didn't like electronic suspension in the beginning because I was so used to, to the manual manual suspension and then adjusting everything myself or you know getting getting a cartridge kit. Um, but after riding a bike that has electronic suspension that has so much electronics in it, I, I just couldn't go back because I got used to just not, not worrying about the suspension really and just, just trusting the suspension to do its job. I put that the R1M in Auto 1 and, and my first track day, the tires were great, but the suspension, it just it just worked. It worked for me, so I, I did nothing to that suspension. Whereas, like, if I were to buy a, a motorcycle without electronic suspension, I would always have to spend that extra money on, on a cartridge kit or, or respring the rear or whatever just to get it right. The electronic suspension just, just does it for me. Other than being comfortable, I don't think there's any other reason that I, I swapped from the R1M to the 1299S, they, they're both they're both great motorcycles in terms of, of where they are. So I had the 2015 R1M was was the top of the Yamaha's line. That was a flagship, and in 2015 this was their flagship. So really, I just the transition from one bike to another it wasn't that bad. The thing to get used to here is the heat when I'm street riding, but you really can't feel it when you have a when you have like a leather suit on or, or maybe leather pants, but yeah, you really cannot feel it, but when I'm wearing my dickies or, or if you're wearing jeans or anything else, yeah, the, the heat can get annoying. I think they both look very good. I think I, I put my own touch to this bike. I put my own touch to the R1M. Do I miss the R1M? Yes, I absolutely do. The power delivery on that thing was insane. Uh, it was like an on and off switch. Even even after, I, I got a head of flash twice. I, I feel like you really had to have some big balls to, to ride that thing as hard. Maybe it was just mine, I'm not sure. I had I had a 2015 R1, uh, just the, the R1, not the S or, or the M, just the R1. And, and the the power delivery on that was great. It was fine, like it wasn't as twitchy as the R1M was. I don't, I don't know, maybe I got a bad flash twice. Who knows? Anyway, yes. Power delivery on this bike, superb. I'm riding in sport mode. I've ridden it in race. I hear a lot of people talk about how torquey and unusable the power is on this bike. Uh, I will tell you that I've gotten used to a bike with a lot of torque and a lot of twitchiness, which is the R1M. And compared to the R1M, this bike is really, really smooth. So I guess it's just subjective on, on you know, what you think is twitchy and what you think is not. Yeah. Anyway, let me know in the comments below if you guys think uh, I made the right choice. You know what really, really motivates me? I'm talking about just, just, just makes me want to just get up and go. Seeing your guys' comments, yo, this channel is dope. Uh, there's one dude who said, dude, you're gonna be the next big moto vlogger. I, I'm, I'm, I'm calling it right now. Uh, Waynester, he tagged me. He tagged me on an Instagram post once. His favorite motor vloggers were like. You know, Motonocity, uh, Do It With Dan, uh, Chase on Two Wheels, and he put me up there, dude. Like, holy shit. That was freaking motivating. But I'm gonna tell you right now nothing motivates me more than when somebody tells me I can't or, or tells me no. Or, like, I, you, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? You know those people that, that will tell you no, you can't or, or you won't or it's not possible. I have gone through life doing everything people told me I couldn't do. Somebody told me YouTube is stupid, I would never get followers. My channel was dumb, it will never grow. And guess what? We're almost at 2K, bro! That's amazing. Anyway, I wanted to incorporate a, a little bit of fitness into the channel. And let me tell you why, let me tell you why. <laughs> if you're a long time follower of this channel, uh, my wife was, uh, she was hospitalized a few months back and they couldn't figure out what it was. There was something about with her GI tract, and I think they they might have thought it was Crohn's disease, but we're not sure still. Crohn's disease is very, it's a very difficult thing to diagnose. In any case, I started making changes 
to to my diet and you know I just haven't I feel like I haven't gone to the gym and then I realized like, you know, I, was, I was really big into fitness when I was in the army and, and even before you know I worked at the gold gym and, and uh, it was it was fun man I was a huge I was a huge fitness buff and now you know I got two kids and it's hard and then I finding I'm finding myself just telling myself that I don't have time to go to the gym going to the gym oh when am I gonna go to the gym and I realized that at one point I was working out wherever whenever it didn't freaking matter where so yeah I want to incorporate incorporate I want to incorporate some fitness into the channel but I want you guys to do it with me I don't want this to be like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna preach anything I'm not gonna preach you guys anything because I eat I love to eat okay I love to eat and I don't want to discourage you guys uh, from you know diets are great diets are amazing diets can can do a lot for you it, it can do a lot for you uh, physically mentally and just just health wise it's good for you but you know it's, it's very hard to, to stick to diets you know sometimes you know I, I'm a cheat day I, I believe in cheat days my wife's a huge believer in cheat days and you know she's kind of motivating me to really go back to pushing myself as hard as I used to and I, I felt like I was getting too old you know and um, she's getting back into it she just had the baby about a year ago and now she's getting back in the gym and what better excuse to work out than to include it in the channel so here's what here's what we're gonna do okay here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do one minute of push-ups okay and if you beat me if you beat me I got something for you guys in the next video all right so set your timer to one minute okay and then the reason all right I'm gonna give you guys the reason why this why I decided I, I, I knew I was gonna do it I knew I was gonna do it. I was gonna I was gonna do this regardless of what anybody else thinks that's how I that's how I work I just do things and I do things because I want to do them. okay if, if anybody ever tells you you can't no or you know somebody told me recently they said you're not this certain body type and nobody will take you seriously F that bullshit F that BS bro I think you know when I, when I was in when I was working for Gold's, I think that was a I think that's a huge problem in, in the the fitness community. It's like people think you have to be a certain look or a certain certain body type to for people to take. I call BS on that, dude. I call BS on that. Cause guess what? If I could do it, you guys could do it. All right, let's go. So let's set this freaking timer, man. <laughs> the bend and reach. Starting positions. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> that was for you, Tito. If you beat me, I got something for you. Whoa, socks on. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Huh. Oh, this has been too long. Huh. Oh. Seconds. Holy crap. Okay. 60 seconds. I don't know how many I did, but I'll count it. And if you beat me, comment down below. But even if you don't beat me, comment down below how many you got in one minute. Okay?